everybody in the fire service remembers where they were at on the morning of 911 when they heard that those planes went into the towers. You just don't forget something like that. And just all of a sudden, I mean, it just disappeared. And uh, on that day, 343 firefighters died there, you know, doing their jobs. Uh, kind of remember the ones that gave their life today, the, the 343 uh, New York firemen that died that day. And you just try to reflect and think of their families and just let them know that they're not forgotten. I got mixed emotions. I got the emotions of being proud of the firefighters and about sort of the emotions of being sad and you know, feeling for their families and uh, you know, it just really touches you, you know, that, you know, I have little kids and I get to go home to them and they don't get to go home to their family or nothing. I would never forget the 343 firefighters and also the police and all the, all the responders and the people. Bravery, the firefighters, police and EMS that, that responded to that, you know, they, they went without a second thought to themselves. They, and they didn't get, they didn't make it out. This job, you never know what's going to come. And that day, they were, they were tested, and they, they showed what they were made but of. Out of that horrible day, showed the true grit of what America is about, and and what people will do for this country and and their jobs. And if, if your job entails you to protect people, uh, you go at a hundred percent. And uh, I think that was shown that day. And I think those those people really stepped up and and uh, proved what this country is. And not just all the firemen that uh, perished in that tragedy, but um, the fact that uh, the United States and Americans in general pulled together, you know, it wasn't just 343 firemen, you know, there was thousands of Americans in them buildings. And uh, that's what I think about, and I think about all the unity that immediately followed um, about, and that's what I miss. You know, uh, Americans pull together when it gets rough, and they're tight. But we also have quick memory loss, you know. Um, you tend to forget, you know, and um, that patriotism that everyone had for them few months, you know, um, it kind of dissipated, and I missed that part of it. It really makes me appreciate those that uh, will react and do as is trained without any... Uh, care for themselves. They're, they're caring for others and that's the way they were trained and it, it makes me appreciate that. I'm still there. October 15th I was in New York for the ceremonies of the fallen firefighters and to be able to see all that firsthand I still think about that. that awesome. It was so emotional to go there and the thousands of people that were there working and still trying to recover bodies of firemen that they don't know where they were at and still working 24-7 around the clock there and it was like a shrine and it was so quiet in the whole city block of New York around there. People would work without even talking. And it was, it was a very somber moment to actual work and just to see the guys working, trying to recover all the bodies to bring them back. Yeah, you just can't help but remember everybody. You know, you can't forget about it and you're always wondering if something else is gonna happen. You, n you never know what every day is gonna bring. You don't know, you don't know when that tone's gonna go off and you don't know what it's gonna be about. You know, it's I think those guys went there thinking that, you know, uh, if they're safe and, and take their air pack, they'll be able to, you know, survive. And I don't think any of those, when they first went in there, thought that, you know, they were gonna perish when they went in. But we, we don't need to forget about this. This could happen any day, of, you know, any day you wake up, it could happen like this. Uh, just don't take any day for granted, you know, every day is a gift. Remembrance and a day that, that no first responder anywhere will forget. He's never forgetting. My cousin gave his life as a first responder in the towers. So you don't give up. You never forget.